Welcome back to She Does Him Good. Thank you for joining me back on my YouTube channel. Um, here I am back in the kitchen. You know I love to cook. And I have some organic chicken that I purchased from Whole Foods. I am getting ready to make a chicken spinach salad. I absolutely love spinach, not because it tastes good, because it's actually tasteless, but because it's a better alternative to romaine lettuce. Spinach actually has a lot of vitamins in it, um, including vitamin K. Um, it does have a little protein in it. Um, it's just a better option all around. My daughter loves it, my husband likes it, and we just use it for everything. We use it in our smoothies, um, in our shakes, in our eggs, in my daughter's oatmeal, um, and now I'm making it with salad, so spinach goes a long way in my house. And I've got my seasoning on the side, um, herbs and seasonings actually. And um, yeah, so um, I just wanna apologize. I know I haven't been putting out many videos. Some people have emailed me, hey, when are you putting out another video? But the truth is that I've had a very trialsome month beginning October the 12th <laughs> until now. It has been hectic and crazy, um, but it's also been a lot of blessings in the midst of it all. Um, so yes, we have had trials and tribulations. Um, it all started on October 12th. I got a phone call from a family member that my grandmother wasn't doing too well and that I might have to rearrange my trip. My trip was set for October 31st. My grandmother's birthday was November 1st, her 99th birthday, and we were going to celebrate in Puerto Rico. But due to the fact that she wasn't doing too well, um, we were pretty much on a standby situation. My grandmother had been complaining of gas and pain in her back, and so she wasn't feeling well. And so my brother stepped out in faith, and he went over to see her and found her to be slightly weaker, but not, not too bad. And so... Um, I did change my ticket and ended up leaving sooner um, than expected. I ended up going to Puerto Rico and I stayed there for a week. While I was there, unfortunately, my daughter became sick. And that meant my husband and I were not going to sleep at night. So following her being sick, my husband became ill. He got exactly what my daughter had, stuff he knows. Uh, runny nose, sneezing, coughing. It was not COVID. Um, we did test, but um, I guess there's something going around. And eventually, I uh, got what they got. <laughs> I got sick. Eventually, I got sick. And um, that was probably the hardest part because um, I couldn't breathe. And um, my oxygen level was like at a 92, 93, which was kind of strange for me. Um, and so I had to call around and figure out if any of my primary care doctors and where I am from could send over an albuterol inhaler. Um, and I was able to get someone to do that because I thought it, honestly thought it was just like an allergy at first. Um, asthma due to an allergy that does happen to me from time to time and the inhaler works like a charm um but and it did work it opened up my lungs and it got me back to uh back home after my grandmother's party so we did have her birthday party which was lovely um and i did come back home but upon coming home I had to take some time off from work, which wasn't good because I had just come off a of vacation and eventually went back to work. When I went back to work, my grandmother uh, took a turn for the worse. She ended up in the hospital. I eventually decided to book a ticket, book the ticket. But before I could leave to Puerto Rico, she had passed away. So that was the hard part. Those were the trials and tribulations. But the Bible does say in Ecclesiastics in chapter three that there is a time under the sun for everything and dying is a natural part of it. And she was 99 years old, but it doesn't make it easy. Um, I do understand that it was her time. Um, but what did make her passing a lot easier was the comfort of the Holy Spirit and that my grandmother was, in fact, devoted 
um, to God. She devoted her life to God. Um, she honored God first, her husband, her children, her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren. So she made the mourning process a lot easier for me because I knew where she was going and that if I continued to run this race, I too would see her again. And so that was my month. I just wanted to give you a rundown. Please be expecting some new videos. I will be putting out some new videos soon. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. This is a channel for ladies um, where we are um, talking about marriage, being a mother, being a homemaker, and you know, and for working mothers who, um, like me, I am a working mother. I am the manager of the home and, um, I am also a homemaker. I'm a full-time mother. And so just being able to balance it all. Um, and so I hope that you will, you know, come back and, and, or view some of my other videos, but getting back to this meal, I love apple. I love apple in all salads. I had apples, um, onions, peppers, and then that yummy chicken and a little light dressing, <laughs> a little light dressing. We had a lot left over. We just took a mason jar. We put the, um, we put the dressing on the bottom with the onions, the peppers, the apples, and then we put the chicken on top and put the, um, uh, spinach right above it. And we just tighten it up, put it in the, um, refrigerator and it's great the next day the 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 spinach tastes crispier and better but um yeah so this was this just just seemed perfect to me upon returning we needed to just get some good vitamins in our body but again thank you for joining uh please make the salad and join me again thanks for listening have a wonderful day